Hello, I'm Miss Robinson, the principal of the Union 8th Grade Center. I'm looking forward to meeting all of you when you come to our building next year. In just a few minutes, our counselors, Mrs. Bell, Mrs. Griffin, and Mrs. Garrett, will be sharing valuable enrollment information with you. It is important that you listen carefully to what they have to say. Please make sure you take the enrollment booklet and enrollment form home with you and discuss it with your parents. If you have questions, you or your parents can talk to a 7th or 8th grade counselor. We will be hosting an information session for students and parents on Thursday, March the 1st at 6.30 p.m. at the 8th grade center. Enrollment forms will be due back on Friday, March the 2nd. I hope you have a wonderful finish to your 7th grade year, and once again, I'm looking forward to having you as a student at the 8th grade center. Thank you for your time. Hi, my name is Sarah Bell, and I am the counselor for the students with the last names L through Z. Your teachers should have passed out an enrollment book and an enrollment sheet to you. These are very important in picking your classes for next year. Please take a minute and write your name on your enrollment book. These get lost very easily, so we want to make sure that if it gets lost, that you, it can be returned to you. On the first page of your book is a welcome letter, and then if you turn the page, there are the union graduation requirements. When you start in eighth grade, for some of you, it begins the accumulation of credits towards graduation. So we want to review those now. First, you are going to be required to have four units of English, so that's um, starting in ninth grade, four units of English three years of math, past Algebra 1, lab sciences including biology, social studies you'll have three units, and then if you so choose you can do two years of foreign language or computer technology. One art competency and eight units of electives with a total of 24 credit hours. Some of you will be taking um, classes like Algebra 1, Geometry, French, and Spanish, those all count towards your 24 credits and graduating from Union High School. Hello, my name is Sandy Griffin and I'm the counselor at the 8th grade center for students whose last names begin with A through K and I'd like to talk to you about the curricular offerings. So if you would open your book to the page where it starts with Language Arts, I'm just going to go through the four core courses right now, uh, and I will just hit the highlights. The um, information is there. You and your parents will be reading most of that on your own, but if there's something, I may point out a thing here or there. So, obviously, everyone must take English, and we have uh, on-level English, or we have advanced English. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out about the advanced English uh, is that as a major part of the curriculum, students will be expected to utilize the eight comments of a research paper for a major grade. They do a very large uh, component on research papers, so um, you might try to prepare for that. If You may be doing some now, so it may not be a problem, but you could kind of look ahead for that. Under social studies, you'll be taking U.S. history, and here again, you may also take um, on level or advanced. Mathematics. Mathematics is pretty cut and dry. If you are in Math 7 now, you will automatically sign up for pre-algebra. If you are in pre-algebra 7, you will be taking a test called the Orleans HANA, and this, will, this test will determine where you whether you will be in advanced pre-algebra or algebra. And of course, if you're in algebra this year, then you will be going to geometry un unless you choose to take algebra one again. Uh, so under the advanced pre-algebra, you will be need and algebra, you will be needing your teacher to write in your Orleans Hanna score on your enrollment form and your first semester grade because for the prerequisite for advanced math seven is teacher recommendation and a score of 75 to 87 on the Orleans Hannah, 75 to 87. 
puts you in advanced pre-algebra. Um, <clears throat> if you'll turn the page under um, the next part, there, we're adding that parents must all, and students must also sign a contract on the back of your enrollment form. For all the advanced classes, students must sign this contract and their parents must sign this. And your obligation in this contract as, as the student in the class is to keep your grade at 70 or above. Because if your grade falls below 70 at a progress report period, then you would go to a, the on-level class. Algebra 1, to qualify for that, you have to be in pre-algebra 7 this year at the 7th grade. And you, on the Orleans Hannah, you must score 88 or above. And you too must sign the contract. Um, the students who are in algebra, as you can see on this page, will be taking pre-AP geometry. Prerequisite is course grade of 80% or higher in Algebra 1. And science is, like, is just like the other um, classes. There are two classes, on-level or advanced. Uh, and every year students ask me or parents call me, uh, should I take all advanced classes? If you feel okay and your grades are good and you've scored very well on your OCCTs and you have a lot of spare time, not too many after school activities, then um, a lot of students take all advanced classes. If you have a lot about school activities like piano lessons or soccer or whatever, then you may just want to take one or two and I just usually advise students to take the subject area that they like the most because it'll it won't seem like work if you really like the subject. Hi, my name is Jennifer Garrett and I'm the current focus counselor at the 8th grade center. I'm going to be discussing electives with you today and letting you know what some of those opportunities are. We have Tech Connect, which is basically a computer technology program and that's one of the courses that can get you high school credit. It's a year-long program and that can carry over to your transcript. In addition, we have a couple of other year-long programs, which would be Spanish and French, and those are also year-long programs. We also have band, orchestra, and choir, and this year we are adding show choir. If you would like to be in band or orchestra, we would need prior approval from an instructor that you've had experience in one of those classes. We also have several athletics that you may participate in. You may sign up for football or wrestling and all other sports you may try out for. We have things such as soccer and track and so forth. In addition, we have a yearbook. We have winter guard, art, ceramics, and sculpture. And we also have drama. Another elective we offer is PE, leadership course, and marine biology. In addition, we offer broadcasting journalism. We also have competitive debate and competitive speech. Competitive date is a full year, debate is a full year course to gain self-confidence and academic achievement and compete with other schools. Competitive speech is to learn how to speak and act competitively in front of others. Now, I've went over the elective courses with you a little bit, but if you'll go to your page 7 through 9 in your enrollment packet, you will be able to read about those and get more details to discuss with your parents. You will be getting an enrollment sheet, and it will be orange, but at the top part, you'll be marking either English or advanced English. So you'll have three core courses there, and then your math section, you'll have one here. And then down here are our electives, and these are subject to change before uh, school begins. Um, so, and on the back, you will have the contract, student contracts. So you and your parents must sign that. Um, and I think uh, we'll just wanted to remind you that your. Uh, I don't know who will be giving you the information, uh, but you may ask your counselor any questions, Miss um, Taylor or Miss Farmer. 
Uh, your parents can call us at the 8th grade center. Our numbers are on the bottom of the enrollment form. Uh, and we'll be happy to assist in any way we can. And uh, we hope you'll all be coming to our uh, parent forum. Mrs. Griffin showed you the enrollment form, but I would like to remind you to make sure that you take that home to your parents and discuss that with them. And return that on March 2nd to your math teacher. We will have our parent night on March 1st at 6.30 at the Union 8th Grade Center. So you may come with your parents if you have any questions or your parents can come and then you can turn your form in on March 2nd and then we will be back to see you on March, the week of March 5th to help you enroll in your classes in the computer lab. Thank you so much and we look forward to having you at the 8th Grade Center. Hi students, just one more thing we forgot. Any student who wants to participate in a sport must have a physical for the following year. Those physicals need to be dated after March, I'm sorry, May 1st. So any student wanting to try out or participate in a sport must have a physical for the following year, and those physicals must be dated after May 1st. When we come back the week of March 5th in the computer lab, Please um, grab one of the sheets we will have for you that tells you about Union's Physical Night where you can come to the UMAC and get your physical, your sports physical, for the following year for $20.